Welcome to today's tutorial on Blossom by Milky Chance. I know that there already are a couple of tutorials on YouTube for this song, um, but they are mostly just playthroughs and not really explaining uh, what they are doing, so I thought I would just close this gap by doing a tutorial on how to play this song uh, in detail. I will also be covering the lead guitar parts for this song with taps, and I will also give you a couple of alternatives for the strumming that they um, usually do when they play it live. Okay. So let's get right into it with the chords. The chords that you need for this song are C sharp minor. C sharp minor is a bar chord coming from A minor with a bar on the fourth fret. So we've got a muted low E string, fourth fret on the A string, sixth fret with our ring finger on the D string, sixth fret with our pinky on the G string, middle finger, fifth fret on the B string, and fourth fret on the high E string. Next chord is an E major, you probably know it, know it as in this shape, but we'll be using this shape because it's easier to switch to the next chords from here. So we've got open low E string, ring finger, second fret A string, pinky, second fret D string, first fret with our middle finger on the G string, open B and E string. Next chord is a G sharp, and that is just exactly the same chord shape, but slid onto the fourth fret. So we've got four, six, six, five, four, four. We also need an A major, that is just the same chord shape, one fret higher, so 5, 7, 7, 6, 5, 5. We also need a B major, that is just exactly the same chord shape, but two frets higher from there, so 7, 9, 9, 8, 7, 7. And last but not least, we need an F sharp minor, and that is a bar chord coming from E minor on the second fret, so we've got second fret on the E string, ring finger and pinky on the 4th fret of the A and D string and then the bar on the G, B and E string with our index finger. Okay, so for the strumming patterns we have a couple of options. There is a basic strumming pattern that is used in the original studio version and we have a couple of variations that they do when they play it live and those variations also revolve around the basic strumming pattern are really similar just with a couple of extensions to it. So I would suggest let's take a look at the basic strumming pattern first. It sounds like this with a chord progression. Okay, and what I'm doing there is down, step, up, step, up. Down, step, up, step, up. And the last up strum is either played open to change the chord. Um, so we've got this. Okay, or it is muted when we switch between the bar chords, so it doesn't uh, really 
sound with a chord on it. Um, the second strumming pattern that we have is really similar. We just exchanged the second slap by doing a normal down strum. So we've got this. Okay, so that is down, slap, up. That is the second option. The third option is what they usually do when they play it live. It sounds like this. Okay, and um, what they do there is a quick down up in 16th notes to start the strumming pattern, and then down, up, step, up, down change the chord. Okay? So again, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. Um, so these are the three options that you have for the strumming patterns. I just wanted to show you this so you have um, a couple of alternatives to choose from. Uh, when I play this song I usually switch around the different strumming patterns and doesn't matter which one of them you're going to use, it will just sound perfectly fine with any of them. Um, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I will mostly be using the first basic strumming pattern. Then let's take a look at the chord progression. Our chords for the verse are C sharp minor, E major, G sharp to A. And we use our strumming pattern once for each chord, so each chord is one bar. Okay? Sounds like this. And so on. We play this four times until we get to the pre chorus. Then, when we get to the pre chorus, which starts with um, You Have to Trust in, we play C sharp minor, A, C sharp minor, a, C sharp minor, A, G sharp to F sharp minor. And we pl always play C sharp minor and A for half a bar and switch the chord at two and. So we've got this one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then a full bar on G sharp and then two bars on F sharp minor, but we play it a bit differently now. We don't use the ring and the pinky, but we use the middle finger and the ring finger. It's a bit of a stretch, but you have to try to practice it a little bit and you will get along. Because we need a free pinky for a little variation that they do. It sounds like this. Okay, what I'm doing there is I do down, step, And I put my pinky down on the down, step, up, up, down, up, and on this up stroke, I put up, put down my pinky and do up, down, up, down, up. Okay? So the whole thing on the F sharp minor sounds like this. And all together the pre-chorus should sound like this. chorus. The chorus starts out with E major in this finger shape because it's easier then to switch to the next chord which is F sharp minor for one bar, C sharp minor for one bar, A for half a bar and B for half a bar. And we also switch on the two and. Okay? So the whole thing sounds like this. We play this 
five times and the fifth time we move down from our B to our E major again and then we have that little transition back to the verse chord progression and that little transi transition sounds like this okay and I do on the E, ma on the e major down Slide it up to the fourth fret and do down, 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 down. Okay, so the whole thing again. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, 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 down. And then we get back to our verse chord progression, and so on. And um, we then have a little interlude, which is the same chord progression as the verse, but with an electric guitar playing. Um, the lead riff, and then everything is repeated in exactly the same way until the second chorus. And after the second chorus, we have one more interlude, um, also with lead guitar, it's still the same chord progression. And then uh, we have a last chorus, which is twice the chord progression of the chorus. So E, F sharp minor, C sharp minor, A, B. And then we have the chord progression of the verse again for the last part where the electric guitar solo comes in. Okay, so the last chord progression of the outro kind of part is C sharp minor, E, G sharp, and A again. And that's already it for the acoustic part or for the rhythm guitar part. And let's take a look at the lead guitar part of this song. Okay, last but not least, let's take a look at the lead guitar part of this song. Um, we start with the main riff, which is played throughout the entire verse and the interludes. It starts off um, with a C sharp minor triad. We're only going to use triads for this lead guitar part. And that is a bar with our index finger on the ninth fret on the upper strings. So we start on the G string, B string, E string with our index finger, a little bar. Strum that once and then put down our ring finger on the 11th fret of the E string and lift it back up again. And after that do a muted down up. And you could either just release the pressure on your bar and do down up or you can slightly rest your other fingers on the strings so they don't sound and make that scratchy uh, muted sound. So, so far we've got, oh, by the way we start on the 2, so 1. Then we move down to our E major triad and that is 9th fret on the G and B string with our ring and pinky and 7th fret with our index finger on the E string. And we do... And that is one strum, muted strum, another strum and let the chord fade out by sliding down the whole neck, okay? so. And then to end on that chord, we do another slap or a muted strum. So, so far we've got. And from there we move to a D major finger shape on the eighth fret. And that is a G sharp, uh, a G sharp chord. And we do the same thing that we did for our C sharp minor chord. So, Okay, so first strum, then put down our pinky on the ninth fret of the E string, lift it back up again and do a muted down up, and then sliding the whole shape up a fret for our A major. And for this A major we do the same uh, pattern that we used for our E major before, so... Okay, altogether the lead guitar part for the verse sounds like this. Okay. Um, if you don't feel comfortable with the muted strums, you can just leave them out and it will f sound fine as well. But uh, I think that they give some kind of a funky feel to it and yeah, it sounds really good. And you can also hear those little scratches in the original version as well. Okay, so um, after that we get into our pre-chorus and the rhythm for the pre-chorus as you remember was 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 
and we use that rhythm um, for our lead guitar part as well. C sharp minor, mini bar on the ninth fret again. And then we move to an A major triad by putting our middle finger on the tenth fret of the B string in the same rhythm. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Move down to our G sharp, which is the uh, D major shape in the eighth fret, and then down to an F sharp minor, and that is middle finger on the sixth fret of the D string, ring finger on the seventh fret of the B string, and pointer on the fifth fret of the E string. We strum that once, and we either then go into the chorus. Um, which is done in the original version, but in the live versions he also does that little variation that the acoustic guitar does as well. So we've got this. Okay, so we just put down our pinky right underneath our ring finger on the seventh fret of the E string and do up, up, down, up, down. And on the up, down, the last up, down, we lift up our pinky again. So. And then we move into the chorus. The chorus also has a lead guitar part um, and that starts with a slide with our middle finger from the 7th fret to the 9th fret. Then we put down our ring finger underneath that on the 9th fret of the B string and do so um, B, G, B, G then another downstroke on the G string, slide it up to the 11th fret and put down our index finger on the 10th fret of the B string. Okay, so G, B, G, B, G, B. Then we put our ring finger on the 11th fret of the D string and our pointer finger on the 9th fret of the G string and do so D, G, D, G, D and then another down strum on the D string and then slide it up on the next down strum to the 13th fret of the D string and do um, an up pick with our uh, index finger on the 11th fret of the G string. And then we end it by plucking the D string on the 13th fret again. Okay, so really slowly we put it all together, we've got this. And uh, we do that two times, and on the third time, we and then we have that little transition riff before moving back into the chorus, and that is the same start as before. So we slide from the seventh fret to the ninth fret on the G string, but then we do an extra hit on the G and the B string, and then another hit on the G string on the ninth fret, slide it down all the way to the fifth fret put our index finger on the 4th fret of the B string and then play it B and G string. Okay, so all together really slowly this transition part sounds like this. And then we're back into the verse again. Last part is the lead guitar uh, outro and that is played with our C sharp minor mini bar on the ninth fret again, and then we play G string, B string, E string, and from there we do that little walk up and back down again. So we've got, and that is 9 on the G, 9 on the B, 9 on the E, 11 on the E, 12 on the E, 11, back to 9. And um, sounds like this. From 
from there we move to the 7th fret of the E string and the 9th fret on the B string. Okay, so together it sounds like this. And from there we do 9th fret on the B string, 7th fret on the B string, 9th fret on the G string. Okay, all together so far we've got Sorry. Okay. And then we build our G major shape again. So the D finger shape, D major finger shape and the 8th fret and do So G, B, E, B, E with our pinky on the 9th fret, lift it up again, pluck the E string again, B, E. And then do the same chord shape, 1 fret higher for our A major and do so twice, let's drum it twice and then slide it down. Okay, so all together, really slowly, we've got this. And that is it for the song. Um, I think we've covered every section by now. I hope everything was clear in this tutorial. In case it wasn't, feel free to ask a question in the comment section below. Um, otherwise, I would suggest you take a look at my channel for more Milky Chance tutorials and I will see you there. Thanks for watching and see you next time.